Hello everyone and I welcome all of you to online study for you a complete placement solution. Friends, in this video I am going to discuss what is IRC and what is DRC. What if you missed IRC and DRC, then what you have to do now? And also, we will be solving the recent examination question from TCS NQT. So we will be solving all the figure based problem, which is very, very important. Okay. And we will be also solving the reasoning ability and numerical ability questions. Okay. This video will give you a complete idea that how your examination will happen. What will be the difficulty level of the question? How you have to start attempting the question. So you will be getting a complete idea. So please do watch the video till the end. Now, what is IRC and DRC? So friends, IRC and DRC is nothing but system readiness check. Okay. System readiness check means TCS will just try to understand that your system is compatible with the exam software, your camera, your microphone, and uh, you know, your browser, everything, internet connection, everything is very, very good to take the examination. That's all in a very simple terms. If you miss IRC and DRC, nothing to worry. There won't be any problem. You just have to make sure that your system is compatible with the TCS examination software and you will be able to write the test. That's all. But if you missed then uh, IRC and DRC, then it's not like you will not be able to write the actual test. You will be still able to give the actual test of TCS examination. Okay. Now, friends, figure based problem, the problem from a statistics. So these are the topics which is very, very important for TCS, right? So that is the reason I'm going to solve the question here now. So let us start with one or two figure based problem and then I will jump to the numerical ability problem because you need to understand the difficulty level of each and every exam. Okay. Now, so question number nine here. So study the given pattern carefully and select the letter from among the given option that can replace the question mark in it. Now, so friends, if we we'll try to analyze KMO, so K plus one KLM, right? So K L M N O, right? So K plus one. So this is basically L is missing here. So K plus one, then M, M N O N is missing here. So this is also plus one. Same thing X, Y, Z, A, B, right? So X, Y. So again, Y is missing. So X plus one, Z, A, B. So again, plus one. Same thing here, D, E, F, right? So plus one. And here also we will be having plus one. So definitely it will be B here, then B, C, and D. So option D will become the correct answer for this particular problem, right? So you should not have any con fusion here now next so friends again you will be getting a problem similar to this or similar to this right so all the problems we will solve this will give you a complete idea i am telling you so you need to watch till the end and also friends one more thing i wanted to tell you if you have not subscribed to our channel it please do subscribe because see either it is uh, related to any information if any hiring if any free courses or if any you know english spoken classes everything so we are doing the complete package on our YouTube channel itself. Okay, so please uh, do subscribe so that you get the latest update now. So select the pattern that is related to the third pattern in the same way as the second pattern is replaced in the first pattern. Okay, no problem. So we have to try to understand what exactly has happened in this figure. Okay, now so friends, whatever is inside. So inside we have a triangle. So in the next figure we are seeing the inside one has come outside. Okay the inside one has come outside. So here also we have what hexagon. So hexagon will come outside. Okay. So hexagon will come outside in the next figure. We are just trying to relate with the previous figure. Okay. Now, so option D is eliminated. Option A is eliminated because outside we want a hexagon. Okay. Now out of this two, one will be your answer. Next. Next friends, what we are seeing is so whatever is outside, so outside we have right this you can say rhombus kind of diagram. Okay now so outside you have this and now this outside has come inside. So here outside we have a square then inside then inside we should be having a square. So in uh, we could see only this figure is having inside a square. So it is very very clear that option B will be the correct answer. Okay now and also you can see the middle circle. So circle is same. So, however, in the A figure, B figure also circle is same. So, here we have a pentagon. 
So here pentagon is also same. So option B will become the correct answer. You will be easily able to mark the answer in the exam. But yes, before that you need to solve. You need to practice the question and then only you will be able to do in the exam. Now rest of the question. Uh, we will definitely solve one by one. Okay, so do not worry. Uh, but numerical ability, you need to understand that the level of the numerical ability will be better. Okay, it will be good. So, but uh, let us solve and then you will be able to realize. So, the score of a cricketer in her last 15 uh, innings are as of follows. Okay, find the median of the score. So, the score has been given. Now, so friends, if you want to find out the median of the score, so see, uh, all the question has been asked in the examination. So it is not like I'm simply writing down the question and uh, telling you that these are the TCS question, TCS NQT question. These are the TCS asked in the exam, you know, of TCS. So not like that. These are the question which has been asked in the TCS exam. Now median. So first you should understand that how do we calculate median? Okay, this is uh, from the statistics. So before calculating median, you need to arrange the number in the ascending order okay now so the smallest is 10 and then we have so please let me know if i miss something then i have 22 then i have 25 then i could see 27 then i could see 32 then i could see 33 then i could see 40 then I could see 41, then I could see 45, 46. So 45 is here and 46 is here. And then I could see 56. Okay, and then I could see 65, 67, 86 and 95. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is my five. And one, two, three, four, five. This is again five set and five. 15, yes. So we have the total 15 score now. So if the number of numbers is odd, see what I wanted to say here is so total, how many you have? Sir, total you have 15. Total you have 15. Then the middle number will be your median. So if we talk about the middle number, then this is the middle number, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven this side and seven this side. So your middle number will be 41. So 41 will become your median. Now, see in the cases where the number of numbers is even, like suppose if we have given 16 innings, suppose if we have 16 innings, in that case, what we do? So seven this side and seven this side. So suppose one more number you had 42. Now the median, how we will calculate 41 plus 42 divided by 2. So 8th number and 9th number divided by 2. When? When you have number of numbers is even 16. But when you have 15, when you have 13, when you have 11, when you have 9, then the problems becomes very, very easy. So this was one of the question from numerical ability. Just arrange them in ascending order. You will be able to get the answer. Now, find the mean of the following fraction statistics statistics is very very important topic in the exam okay now so uh, mean mean will be what friends mean is nothing but average okay mean is nothing but average see sim uh, solving the simple simple question will not help you to crack the exam if uh, at some places if they are doing the simple question with simple tricks and you are becoming happy don't be happy because finally in the exam you will not be able to solve okay right so there will be multiple classes will be there, marathon class, normal class, that class, this class. So that will not help you in clearing the exam because you need to solve the actual questions like this. Okay, now, so mean will be average. Average will be sum by number. Now, so all the numbers basically you have to add and then you have to divide. So see, uh, I am taking the time here, but in exam you don't have to take that much of time. So I am adding everything. Okay. I'm adding everything uh, and then I'm dividing by the numbers. So how many numbers are there, friends? So there are uh, one, two, three, three, six. So there are total six numbers are there now. So let us solve this, take the LCM. So what I could see here is, so the highest number is 60. 60 into two, 60 into, but it will not be divisible by 18. So we will take a number which is divisible by all. Taking the LCM is not always required. Taking the LCM is not always required. So I have taken a number, I have assumed that 180 should be divisible by all. Now, 15, 36 times. So 36 into 4 will be 144, okay? 
and 12 15 times so here it will be 15 18 10 times 70 10 18 times 54 36 times so 6 3 is 18 138 and 63 times so 111 okay and this 6 is in div uh, division so 6 will be here now please add this so 4 plus 5 9 9 plus 4 is 13 14 14 8 22 2 so again so i i think if you'll add it you will be getting 532 okay and divided by 180 into 6. Now, this is what you have to solve. So, 3, 2, uh, 2, 3s are, and 26 times 52, 2, 6, ja, and then 2, 9, ja, and uh, 13, and 3. So, 133 divided by 270 will be the correct answer, 270. So, option D uh, becomes the correct answer here, which you will be easily able to mark. So, numerical ability questions are not uh, very, very easy. But statistics is one of the very, very important topic, which uh, and where you should have a very good command on that. Now, once again, I wanted to tell you. So after watching till here, if you have not subscribed to this channel, then you should subscribe. See, if you'll subscribe, definitely we will get a lot of motivation and we will do more and more videos for you guys, man. Find the missing figure in the given figure matrix. OK, now, so missing figure. Now, let us try to understand. So what is happening? So friends, first to second. So first to second, first figure remains same. See, it's all about analyzing how you are able to analyze. In first to uh, second figure, the you know, so, so suppose this is A, this is B, and this is C. Like this, you try to understand. So A to B, the first figure remains same. A to B, the first figure remains same. So A to B, the first figure remains same. Okay, the first figure remains same. So we should be having like this. And then what about second figure? So second figure is getting inverted. Second figure is getting inverted 180 degree, right? So 180 degree, uh, you know, getting inverted. So this will become like this. It is, it is becoming like this, right? So you do not have to look at the third figure. Third figure is not for you. From the for A and B only because you have to find out the missing one, the B one. Okay. And then that you will be easily able to identify. So the first one becomes your correct answer. See. If you'll analyze also no problem. If you'll not analyze also no problem. In the B to C, what is happening? Both are changing. So both are changing 180 degree. Both are changing 180 degree. Okay. So here again 180 degree change. So here also again 180 degree change. Yes, correct. Okay. So option C uh, will be the correct answer. That is nothing but the very first figure is the missing one, which should have been here. Okay. So this is called figure based problem. And you can see it will be asked in the reasoning ability of TCS exam. Now, so this we have already solved. Next, identify the wrong figure from the following six figures. So we need to identify the wrong figures. Okay, now, so when you will try to analyze, see this is shifted here, right? So this is shifted here. So from one corner to another corner, right? So one corner to another corner. So it was here and then came here. From here, it should come here, right? From here, it should come here. Then from here, it should come here. From here, it should come here, right? So basically, this much of distance, uh, you can say one side. The moment is uh, from one corner to another corner of one side. But what is happening? So here, it has not moved. But here, it has not moved. Ideally, so this basically, so ideally, this should come here, but which is not here. So here, your diagram 3 is wrong, okay? Diagram 3 is a wrong figure. So option B, I mean this, you have to mark it. I will explain you once again. There is nothing to getting confused. See, this is one side, right? Okay. So one corner, now it is shifting to another corner here, right? Okay. From here, it should same side, you should, uh, you know, shift to this corner, which is not happening. So figure three is wrong. Okay. After this, it should shift here, shifted. Okay. After this, it should shift here, shifted. After this, it should shift here, shifted. Okay. So this particular option will become the correct answer. Okay. Now, so see, here in figure based problem, you should be at very good in analyzing the things. Select the figure from among the given option that can replace the question mark in the following series. So basically what is happening? Try to analyze. So this see first, let us start with this black dot. So black dot is shifted here. Okay. In the next figure, right? Okay. Then the black dot is shifted here, right? So basically the black dot is shifted one by one in the clockwise direction. Okay. Now. Then the black dot, uh, dot is shifted here. Then the black dot, if the diagram will be like this, it will be shifted here. Now, so you see in which diagram? So diagram one and diagram two. 
okay can be your answer diagram one and diagram two can be your answer because after shifting definitely it should come here okay now now we will try to see what is happening with this uh, lines okay so let me try to analyze so line so first so it is leaving one box and left one box and entered into the second box okay now in the next figure it left two box and then went okay again in the next figure it left one box okay so after that it is here so in the next figure it will leave two box so one box okay so one box two box so it will come here okay now so basically the lines would be here and how these lines will be so see this is changing to horizontal then vertical then uh, horizontal and then vertical so basically our diagram should be basically our diagram should be according to how we analyzed so we should have one black mark here and then we should have this vertical and then we should have this vertical so option b is the correct answer right see you try to analyze so first time it is leaving only one box okay so it left one box and shifted here then it is leaving so after this one and two it is leaving two box and then shifting here then again it is leaving uh, one box and shifting here and then again it will leave one and two box and then it will shift here okay so this is how you have to analyze in the exam so basically uh, this you have to select uh, this is not there so basically in the option this this is where the diagrams which you have to mark it okay now i hope it will be clear so this will be a homework for you so this will be a homework for you so please try to solve and put in the answer so i just wanted to see if you are able to take take it or not next next is select the option that is related to the third number in the same way as the second number is related to the first number so 729 as soon as we see 729 it comes to our mind that it is 9 cube so this is nothing but 10 and this is nothing but 10 minus 1 cube agreed okay so here we have 12 so 12 minus 1 cube so 12 minus 1 cube 11 cube and 11 cube will be 1331 so option b will become the correct answer for this particular wonderful problem okay see these are all our visualization this kind of questions will be asked in your exam okay and it has already asked then so this is nothing but 8 square and this is nothing but 10 square so 8 plus 2 so this is nothing but 16 square so this will be nothing but 14 square 14 square will be 196 so option b will become the correct answer for this particular problem one more homework is there for you okay so this you need to solve it from your home and then uh, so two, there are two questions for both the questions so i will give you the question number here so this question number uh, i don't know i'm just giving a random so this question number is suppose 10 okay so 10 so you have to mark in the comment section that's for question number 10 this is the answer and one more this i am marking it as 11 so sir for question number 11 so mark it your answer like this question number 10 answer is this question number 11 answer is this and if you can mark it as logic logic also you please mark it and one more thing i wanted to tell you friends see if you comment that that sir video was good we are getting the information see at least some comment otherwise if i make a video and if you guys do not like then definitely there is no point of continuing or making that kind of video so i request all of you so if you like the video see i don't know if you are sharing sharing with your friend or not but at least like and comment so that i can make more and more videos for you and that will uh, internally help you in achieving a very good marks in the tcs nqt thank you friends and uh, let us meet in the next video all the very best for your tcs examination